Hello and welcome to part 7 of this H3VR modding tutorial. In this part we're going to be setting up our icon camera so that we can start taking pictures of our gun and our magazine so that they can show up in the item spawner. Um, so the first thing we will do to get this started is go into our camera and add an icon camera component to it. And we also should probably get this set up so that it is right next to our gun. And we'll move this into a good position so that it can start showing our gun. And another thing is you'll want to dock your game view uh, on the side so that you can actually see what the camera's gonna see. All right, that looks good. And now we'll go into the camera and we'll start setting stuff up. So we want to change the clear flags to a solid color. And you want to make sure that the alpha channel for the solid color is zero. Um, it usually is by default. And I'm going to turn down our field of view a bit so that it, uh, I just like the way that looks. And we'll set the clipping plane to be a bit closer and set that to you know, cut off a little closer as well. Um, so that's the camera pretty much set up. Now what we want to do is we can look at our icon camera component here. There's a path that our icons are going to end up. Um, if we look, uh, that folder is not created uh, by default, so we're going to create that. So that's where our camera icons are going to show up. And this is going to be the name of the icon. and Keep that on depth normals probably. And we have two fields here. Um, so one is an effect material that we can apply to our image, and the other is a background. So you would just select, we have a, there's an icon background that comes with Meet Kit. You just want to search that up and, and select that. And so if we update our preview, we'll see that this is what the camera is seeing, but it also is applied the, uh, the background to the image. And it looks dark here, but it actually, uh, when you take the picture, it's gonna look fine. So we'll go ahead and take a picture and look at our icon. Oh, we have an error. Oh, I, I named the folder wrong. It should be icons, so we'll keep that. And we'll update the preview, looks good. Take a picture. And you'll see that we have an icon. Um, so you'll probably want to orient uh, this camera in a better way for a item spawner entry. We'll go with something over here. Have it go down. That's a little too far down. This is something that you kind of have to get like a feel for. Um, just make it up as you go. But basically I'm trying to get something that's going to fit our uh, icon nicely. I'm going to disable the magazine. And we'll update the preview. That looks like it fits pretty nice. Let's just see it without the darkness. I think that's a pretty good okay icon. So we'll use that. And we'll save this as um, OTS 22 icon and move that into our gun folder. Into there. And now we'll go ahead and get a picture of the magazine. Move this up. And we'll zoom that camera in a bit more. There. And we will take that picture. I think that looks okay. And we can name this one OTS22 Magazine uh, Icon. and move that into our guns folder as well. 
So now we have two icons that we can use. And the last thing that we can uh, go ahead and look at is the effects. So with the icons that I make for uh, my mods, I usually have a, uh, like a black and white effect, which is actually the gun itself, but uh, with an effect applied. And let's go and see how to do that. So we'll remove the background texture and we'll go into the materials and uh, this project ships with one default uh, image effect, which is a black and white effect. You can also change the color of it, though, black and white. Um, so let's zoom this camera out a bit. And that looks pretty good for the framing. And basically, you can control the color banding of uh, this material and how much the normals affect it. It's kind of like you got to feel your way through it, but um, I think that looks pretty good for our uh, gun icon. So I'm going to go ahead and you just, you basically apply it there and you'll get that effect. I'll take a preview and that looks pretty okay. And I'll go ahead and save that. And that'll be used for later. I'll put that in GIMP when I make the uh, the final icon. And so that's pretty much it for this part. In the next part, we're gonna be actually setting up our item spawner entries and all of the metadata for our gun and getting it ready to ship as a mod.